Friends, this is called Project Blue Beam. Many folks call it a conspiracy theory. Headline, Project Blue Beam conspiracy theory suggests NASA has secret plans to create new world order. Let's read some of this. A conspiracy theory about NASA's secret plans has gained momentum after a series of bizarre events. But is it complete nonsense? The theory suggests NASA and the United Nations are planning to create a new world order by using techno te technologically simulated mind control to shape a global new age religion. You see it now, friends? Mr. Monast believed generating a global new age religion was the only thing that would make a worldwide dictatorship possible. Speaking at a presentation in 1994, he speculated that Project Blue Beam would be carried out in four different steps. Let's continue. Mr. Manast said in the second stage, in creating a new world order, would be using a gigantic space show with 3D holographic images, lasers, and sounds to, dis to seduce people into believing in the new God. Listen, the show will consist of laser projection of multiple holographic images to different parts of the world, each receiving a different message according to predominating regional and national religious faith. From the depths of space, astonished followers of the various creeds will witness their own return Messiah in speculatory, convincing, lifelike realness. Imagine that day. Islam, Hinduism, Hindus, Muslims, Catholics, Buddhists, all around the world. Let's continue. Mr. Mano said, all of these depictions of the Messiah would then merge into one. Let's picture that. All these revered figures will now quote unquote reappear and they will all say, we are united with this one, this one being. That one being will be the Antichrist. Satan personating Christ, second coming. Watch, this one God will in fact be the Antichrist who will explain that the various scriptures have been misunderstood and that the religions of all are responsible for chaos, crises, turning brother against brother, nation against nation. Therefore, the world's religions must be abolished to make way for the golden age, he said. Friends, when I read that and saw that, something came to my mind, and that is this statement, the track of truth lies close beside the track of error. Mm, 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 mm. And both tracks may seem to be one to the minds, which are not worked by the Holy Spirit. Imagine, that was written and published in 1994 by Serge Monast. Do you know those words he detailed sound very similar to words in the book, the Great Controversy? Allow me to lay this out. Look at what this says. This is Great Controversy, page 624. Fearful sights of a supernatural character will soon be revealed where? In the heavens. In token of the power of miracle working demons. That's plural. Remember, remember, the dead knows nothing. So if you see an apparition, it is not the dead that has come back to life. No, it's demons manifesting themselves as these dead religious figures or even your dead loved ones. Is that clear? Continue. Second sentence. The spirits of devils, 
will go forth to the kings of the earth and to the whole world to fasten them in deception. That's Revelation 16, verse 13 and 14. Let's continue. And then urge them on to unite with Satan. Do you see it now? In his last struggle against the government of heaven. Do you see it now? All these so-called figures who have now re reappeared will unite with whom? Satan. He is the one we must follow. Let's continue. And imagine the Muslims now will say, yes, uh, let's accept Let's accept him, Jesus, who is actually Satan personating Christ. Many people have scoffed at the idea, how can there be a one world religion? When all these religions revere different public figures, you see my point? But what's going to happen when they so-called return? And then now say, followers, follow me. Let's bow down to this figure, which will be Satan personating Christ.